it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today for another Top Tip Tuesday. And I thought it would be quite fun, given that it's coming up to Christmas, um, if we looked at some easy but different folds. So I've grabbed myself a piece of Thick Whisper White and I'm going to show you two very simple folds with one sheet of Whisper White. So the first thing you need to do is cut your Whisper White in half. Obviously it can be any other cardstock, but cut your card in half across the middle, as in the fat middle for these particular cards. So I now have my two sheets of A4 cardstock. And I'm actually going to switch over now to my scoreboard. So my Simply Scored, and I've put the um, magnet, uh, not the magnet, the metric plate on, because this makes it really easy if you're using using International A4 card to cut to fold some simple um, alternative cards. So here we have our piece of. A5 card, it's 21 centimetres wide. So to make my first fold, I want to do a tri-fold. So I'm going to come in at seven centimetres and at 14 centimetres. And this will make me a tri-fold card. Now you can either fold it so that you've got that, or what I'm going to do is fold it so that you've got a concertina. And then what you can do, if I remove the scoreboard. Let's start by just reinforcing those folds a little bit. You can bring back in your trimmer and working on just two of the panels. Um, I'm going to go this way, so I'm going to use these two panels here. Line up your panels so that this top crease mark is on the top of the track. Let me see if I can bring this up slowly to show you. So I want the, that crease on this track and then just decide how deep you want your bottom. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. And cut away this piece and then we have got this. So you get that lovely um, angled piece and you can then make a card like this. I mean, this is just a very simple card using some of the most wonderful time um, product medley pieces. So you get that lovely look and you can you just use the same angle on your pieces of designer series paper. So that's our first card. The second one is probably even easier. So let's bring back in our scoreboard. And we've got here um, five point, well, it's in millimeters, so it's 52.5 millimeters. So if you butt your, and it's this second one, it's the one just past the five millimeters. If you butt your A5 cardstock against the left-hand edge and come in at that sec, the score line that's just away from the five centimeters and score, flip over and score again in the same place. Then bring in your bone folder again and score, or burnish rather, and burnish and you have a really nice gate fold. So again using some of the most wonderful time papers I've just popped some papers here. I'll need to put a liner here and a sentiment um, and zoos it up a bit. But there you are. Two very simple folds from a piece of, well, just half a sheet of cardstock. I'll try and work out an easy way to do it for uh, North American letter. Um, but as I do work in International A4, this is more aimed at those people using International A4. But I will try, fingers crossed, to work out how to do it, what the measurements are for your eight and a half by 11. We may end up with some slightly odd measurements is my only concern. But anyway, there you are, really simple. And you can take, these obviously will fit in a standard envelope. This one 
completely. It's it's A6 ultimately. This one you'll have spare space, um, but that's fine too. So there we are. I hope you found that helpful. Give a fun fold a bit of a try. Um, they are really easy to do. Some of them are easier than others, but these two really straightforward. Uh, come back tomorrow and you'll see why I'm doing fun folds today. Just saying. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, please leave those below in the below the description bar. If you want any products and you're in the UK, please hop over to my online store and that is below. Uh, I will have some close up photographs on my website, which again is linked below. And do remember that if you don't already subscribe, do hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner so you can see when I post. Thank you very much indeed, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye!